if we have an expression with two terms, uh, for example, if we've got a plus b, the conjugate of that is simply changing the plus to a minus within that term. So a minus b is the conjugate of a plus b. Alternatively, if we've got a, a negative sign here, the conjugate is what we get when we change it to a plus. So if we have an expression with a third in it, for example, 3 plus root 2, the conjugate of that is 3 minus root 2. Really simple. 5 minus root 7, the conjugate of that is 5 plus root 7. Okay, let's see what happens when we take an expression containing a third and multiply it with its conjugate. We'll do this in the normal way by multiplying the terms out like this. So 2 times 2 will give us 4. 2 times minus root 3 will give me minus 2 root 3. If we multiply these two together, we'll get plus 2 root 3. And if we take those two together, we'll get minus root 3 times root 3. We can simplify this a little more. We've got 4. This term and this term will cancel each other. We've got minus 2 plus 2. So we'll get rid of those. This we can combine using the multiplication rule. So this is going to give us minus root 9, which we can simplify to give us 4 minus 3, which is equal to okay. 1. In this example, we've got two thirds in the first expression, and we're multiplying by the conjugate, so we change the negative to a positive. So we'll multiply the terms out again. So this time we've got root 5 times root 5. We've got that times that, so that's going to be plus root 5 times root 7. We multiply those two together, we get minus root 7 root 5, and we multiply those two together, and it's going to give us minus root 7 times root 7. It doesn't look great at the moment, but we'll simplify it. Root 5 times root 5 is root 25. That will simplify to 5. We've got root 5 times root 7, and we've got to subtract root 7 times root 5. The order of these things doesn't matter. If you think about it, this is like plus root 35. This is like minus root 35. So they will cancel. And at the end there we've got root 49. And root 49 is a number that we can simplify. So it gives us minus 7. So in this case we end up with minus 2. In both examples that we saw, we found that multiplying an expression with a third in with its conjugate removed all of the thirds and left us with just a number. This is true no matter how we do the multiplication. The reason is this. When we multiply a term like that with its conjugate, we do all the multiplications. What we're always left with is the first term squared minus the second term squared. This, this formula is known as the difference of two squares. So whenever we have thirds of the form 2 plus root 3 and we multiply by the conjugate, if we remember the formula, there's no need to go through all of the multiplications. The answer is going to be the first term squared minus the second term squared. And we can simplify that in this case to 4 minus 3. If we square a square root, we're left with that. So when you're rationalising thirds, you might want to remember this very quick way of expanding the bottom of the fraction.